Hello my hedgelings, welcome to this short video to explain what happened last episode. Um, I recorded the gym battle with Chuck and I fought Eugene here with the Suicune and for whatever reason Cantasia did not save the recording. I have no idea why, it just told me could not save and then that was pretty much it. It was like a huge fuck you to the face. But what happened was it took out all the trainers in Chuck's gym pretty easy. There was Hitmon Lee, there was Machoke, Machop, Hitmon Chen. There was about four trainers, I think. And then I went and healed, went back to the gym, uh, lifted the waterfall, and then challenged Chuck. He sent out Primeape, I sent out Togekiss, Sinner right here. Used Air Slash, got an inst like one hit KO. He sent out Polyrath, and I used Air Slash again, and I actually got a critical hit, and so I one hit KO'd his. Uh, Level 31 Polyrath with a level 29 Togekiss, so I was really happy with that. From there, we got the Storm Badge, and we came out here and fought Yuzine. Yuzine sent out a Drowsy, which I took out with... I think Sinner. I took, yeah, I took it out with Sinner. He sent out Electrode, and I was gonna... I switched to Montezuma, used Ancient Power. Electrode hit Montezuma, and Ancient Power didn't do shit to Electrode. So I switched out to... Sinner again because he had the most HP out of anybody so I figured if there's explosion it would do the least amount to him and I used Air Slash it did a good amount or no I used Aura Sphere it did a good amount of damage and then I got hit by Thunder it took me down about 27 HP so I used Moo Moo Milk he hit used Thunder I used Moo Moo Milk he used Thunder I used Moo Moo Milk he used Thunder this went on until he hit me with Thunder six times in a row to where I finally switched out to Cucumber who got hit by the seventh Thunder in a row didn't do much damage, I used two magical leaves, took out Electrode, and he finished up with a third Pokemon, who I cannot remember. It's on the tip of my tongue. It's not on the tip of my tongue, I cannot remember what his third Pokemon was, but he sent it out and I took it off Cucumber with like one or two magical leaves. And that was the episode that got deleted because Camtasia sucks. So this is the placeholder for episode 21. Yeah. Hello, my hatchings. Welcome back to Pokemon Soul Silver Random Lock versus my cousin Black Jesus Priest. Last episode fucked up. You know, I just explained that like a few seconds ago. I made a little clip after the recording, but. I, I'm just saying, every time I record, I am going to back up the save, so if something like that happens again, I could just re-record it. Because, unfortunately, right as soon as I stopped the recording, I saved the game, and then Kentage was like, Hey, we're not going to we're not gonna save this. It was too good of a gym battle. You were way too good, and so we're not going to save it. And it just told me error couldn't save, and I was like, ah, really? I was hoping Kentage just crashed, because usually when it crashes, it allows me to recover recordings, but... Now something I brought up last episode, we can fish in Cyanwood, so I was thinking the next route we would catch a Pokemon as a placeholder for Cyanwood, but we'll see. Anyways, this is Cameron's house, I believe. Hello. Hi, you must be a sightseer. Why not take a picture here? You saw the camera outside? I put it there. You may come across the right relatives here and there. Anyway, go ahead and take a picture. Check out my camera, and I'll take a picture for you. It'll be good memory for your journey. Yeah, it will. Be like, I remember that one time. I went to sign with my Pokemon and beat the gym. You want to take a picture? Yeah. Cool. All right, everybody. What a beautiful picture. Kind of looks like I have a tail because of Siren. Awesome. All right, and then I'm gonna go into this cave. But, really quick, I'm gonna go up here. Talk to this woman. We also got Fly last episode, I didn't teach it to anybody yet. Because I am debating on whether to... Get rid of either Sinner or Felbeast, and I'm really unsure. I want to use Felbeast, but I might keep Sinner just because he has Aura Sphere. So, it's pretty good Pokemon. But, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Go back. I need to see the route name. Wood. Cliff Edge Gate. Okay. 
Well, up first, I'm gonna put Midnight out here because she's a little under leveled, and so is Montezuma, so we should get them up to level 28. And then the next stage will probably be like 30. Yay, Savara Zone. Oh, we can't go yet, huh? He has to call us. So it looks like we're gonna have to wait. I don't think we can find a Pokemon in here. Just want her to check. I'm pretty sure we can. I'm pretty sure we would have found one by now. So I guess we'll come back here when the time is right. And right now I'm gonna teach Fly to go back. Ah, it's so difficult. Could get rid of oh yeah, Felbeast also last episode learned Air Cutter in the gym. Really cool. But I think I'll get rid of Headbutt and Sinner, and if I was to ever teach the Felbeast, I'll get rid of Confuse Ray. But for now, I guess Sinner gets to move. That's stronger. Alright, get rid of Headbutt. Poof, Sinner forgot how to use Headbutt, and Sinner, you learn Fly. Awesome. Alright. So, to prove I got the badge, I'm gonna fly. Even though having fly Betty kind of proves it. We're gonna go back to Olivine. What's over here? Oh, Battle Front here, here. Oh, yeah, so there's some routes back here. 47, 48. So, for Route 47, I'll catch a Pokemon for that route and for Sinewood. And Route 48, I'll catch a Pokemon there, and, you know, we'll figure it all out. Alright, and last, not, well, episode 20, the one I did with Black Jesus Priest, I said that I didn't catch a Pokemon Burn, Burn Tower, the second Pokemon. Okay, we're all glitched up, I'm going to go inside and outside. I said, like, when I caught the Pokemon for Electric City and Burn Tower, I didn't catch it, but I did, it was a Goldeen, and I was talking about, if I had a female Goldeen, I'd rather have an alternate evolution by the name of uh, Sea Queen instead of Sea King. And so, I'm actually, if I ever use that Goldeen, I am going to go to Goldenrod City and change that nickname to Sea Queen. I forgot, I forgot what the original nickname was. It was something pretty crappy, but this time around, we're taking the elevator to get to, uh, whatever it faces. Uh, Candace? No. What is her name? Jasmine. There we go. Oof, I just had a, I knew it would come to me. How nice, she left the door open for us. We're here! <laughs> it's breathing, it's light. Will that medicine cure Amphi? There's a secret potion. Probably just like a regular super potion. Um, please don't be offended. Amphi will not take anything from anyone but me. Palu, Palu! Whoa! Wow, we just saved the second life. We are heroes. Everything's up right now. Oh, I'm so relieved. This is just so wonderful. Thank you so very, very much. I will return to the gym. So now we are free to battle Jasmine. And I really want to know when we could go to the Safari Zone. I know he calls you when it's open, but I forgot when it opens. But I don't I don't want to fight Jasmine yet. I want to make sure because you guys didn't see it, but the last gym battle, level 31 Polyrath, and my strongest level was level 29. So I really want to make sure I'm. Oh, there he is! Nice. Oh, hi, Hachi. This is Warden Baoba. Sorry to have kept you waiting. We finally opened the Savari Zone. Do you know where it is? You know the gate inside the cavern in Sinewood City? If you go through there and walk for a short while, you should soon see the Safari Zone. We're a little out of the way, but please come visit. Well, guys, looks like we won't be fighting Jasmine this episode like I thought we were going to. We are going to be flying to the Safari Zone. Well, we'll be flying to Sinewood, then we'll walk to the Safari Zone. You guys, you guys get what I'm trying to say.
so much lag. I'm not too sure why, but it might have to do with Steam, getting Steam messages. I don't know. I could go offline mode, but I'm too lazy, so. Alright, let's go. Cliff Edge Gate. Alright, now I gotta do something about this lag. Alright, disconnected from the internet. Maybe that'll help. Alright, let's go. Gonna catch some Pokemon this episode. Hopefully we get something cool. Ooh, I did turn the randomizer back on, so. Route 47. We'll catch a Pokemon here for Route 47 and for Cyan Woods, so we'll be catching the first two Pokemon we find. I'm pretty sure there's grass somewhere. Maybe. Hope so. Pretty sure there was. But there is a lot of trainers. Longing for others is what it is. But battles are battles, so let's go. Alright, man. Alright. Aw, oh, it's a dunce bars. Uh, oh, I remember the Pokemon that Yuzine had last. It was a Haunter, and I took it out with Midnight. Using Bite. It took two bites. And we're drowsy, so I'm gonna switch you out for Silent. I should probably throw out Montezuma. I gotta use him for something I know he can take out. Oh, come on. Be a douche. Pick you out. Oh, this guy just has more Dunsparce. Alright, this time we'll see no one to do. I'm pretty sure they're gonna make Dunsparce the fairy type, and I hope they do. It'd be cool to see them, like, actually be worth using. Like, side them. No, you keep doing this. You keep hitting the side beam. Oh, critical hit. Good job, Montezuma. And a third Dunsparce. Wow. This guy is looking better than when they catch Dunsparce. Oh, Yon. Send Midnight back out. Okay. <laughs> Let's throw out Cucumber. Quit doing that! Send out Fell Beast. Oh my god. You want to just take him out? That's all we had to do. Everyone just got experience for that one Dunsmarsh. Alright, let's continue on. Um, let's go... Yeah, let's fight the trainers first. Then we'll do exploring. Well, actually, there's some dead end over here. So. I'm not good for large crowds, so I'm camping out here for my Pokemon. Are you the same way? Yeah, I don't know. I'm just trying to get to the Savar zone. Oh, this could be perfect. I am speeding off these battles because I really want to get to the Safari Zone by the end of this episode. Awesome. Ice Fang, nice. Let's get rid of Double Team. Nice. And a Meryl, I'll send up Cucumber for that one. Alright, Magical Leaf should be a one to kill. you little boy slash girl for the battle. Can't tell what you are, I'm sorry. Can you pay attention to your name? Oh, revive! We could sell that for like 400 polka dollars or something. But I'm going to go ahead and save. <clears throat> I was like, I've had this emulator going on for like 30 minutes, so... Because uh, this is continuation of the last episode. It's recording, which got deleted. Hopefully the Camtasia doesn't pull that again. Never did that for me before. It's kind of random. I don't know. I double clicked on Steam to open it right when it was saving, so maybe that did something. Could have actually been my fault. Cliff Cave. This counts as a route. I'm gonna go down the ladder. Cliff Cave. Okay, we catch a Pokemon in Cliff Cave, so I'm gonna count. <laughs> this slacking as the Pokemon in Cliff Cave. That's a weird sprite. And I don't think there's grass anywhere around here, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and count Route 47 in this cave and sign blood. So three Pokemon we can try to catch in here. It might be tough, cause 
who knows what this lacking can do. And we missed, so and it's gonna waste a turn. Hopefully we don't miss again. Let's see what Ice Man can do for us. Wow, that did crap. And it looks like we're gonna be using more Ice Fang. You know what? Oh, we don't have the heavy ball. I left the apricot or apricorn with Kurt, so we don't have a heavy ball. That'd be perfect for slacking. But it's good to keep hitting up Ice Fang. Maybe it'll freeze and we need to capture. Well, finally attacking us. Ice thing, and then I'm gonna try to catch it. All right, I kind of just got a name for you too. Um, I think you're worthy of a premier ball, but I'm gonna go. Ah, uh, you're gonna be tough to catch. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the ultra ball because lacking will definitely be good if we ever have someone die. Wow, we actually escaped from that. Okay. I didn't think he would. So, what does that mean with the Pokeball? Watch it catch him. Knowing my luck, catch everything with the Pokeball. Nope, not this time. Um. Oh crap, I, I was gonna try maybe using like Bite or something. This might actually make me pain. Oh, that was perfect actually. Good job, Midnight. Now let's use a Pokeball. Perfect. Slack King was caught. Slack King Zeta was added to the Pokedex. The world's laziest Pokemon, lazier than Snorlax. It moves to another spot when there's no food left within reach. Give a nickname? Yes, I'm gonna call you. Let's see where I'm going with this. I'm going bread loaf. <laughs> it's not, he was loafing around, maybe think of bread. Um, I want to go outside first, see if there is any grass. No, there's not. So, Route 47, I'm going to catch a Pokemon 4 in this cave right now. First encounter. I should probably heal slash so switch to a different. Let's go with Montezuma. He can make some Pokemon. Alright, let's see what I can find. This is for Route 47. Wow! <laughs> so we could have a Togekiss, a Togetic, and a Togepi if we really wanted to. Okay, so the Dupes Clause states that if you have two Pokemon, or a Pokemon that... No, it doesn't work here, because we have a Togekiss and a Togepi. We don't have a Togetic. So Dupes Clause will not work here. I'm not going to catch it. I'm not going to catch it. Alright, for Cyanwood, we could catch something else here. Okay, I could do. I could use Celia. I would not. This would be great to have water and ice. I could totally just get rid of Midnight and use him, and I won't even have to bring back Hammer. But I don't know how that'll go. I don't even think I'll use this guy. Not yet, anyways. So um, I'm gonna trust Belby's gonna weaken it. Encore. It seems everything in here just wants to use Encore. Uh, let's use Bite. Okay, we're pretty good. Just another Bite. Awesome. And then, let's try to catch it. I'm not gonna use my Premier Ball. Anymore. Actually, I think I mentioned it. I did buy 10 Pokeballs off screen, that's so why I got another Premier Ball. But, uh, I'm gonna use a Pokeball. You know, we got a special Pokeball. You just get a basic one. Oh, he did not like that. Alright, I should probably use Confuse Ray on it. Hopefully it doesn't use a nice type. Alright, Confuse Ray. Man, 
Alright, I'm gonna try Great Ball. Because I definitely want the Celio, because it'll be a good backup if I lose a Pokemon. I definitely use this later on. And by the time we get to Kanto, we might. The six Pokemon we have now, we might not even have in Kanto. Who knows where this Nuzlocke could go? Who knows? Jasmine might pull a really good battle and take out all of our team. But we caught Celio, and I actually have a name for it. It has a very sensitive nose. It touches new things if it's nose to examine. Okay. I'm gonna call you. Sir. Nope, nope, nope. Don't type those. Sir Leopold. Leo. I missed the letter. Leo. I'm missing an O. Oh, yeah, it's not that bad. Fit per perfectly, Sir Leopold. Beverly. Beverly Hills! Okay. This is Beverly, how you doing? I spruced up my snubble and made it even cuter than before. I happened to see Wild Meryl the other day, so I thought a closer look showed it was Kakuna. I am so miffed. You can split the call for me. Yeah, please don't call again. Alright, so let's save the game. Because we got two Pokemon, so it's important that we save. And I think I'm actually gonna call this episode quits. I wanted to get to the Savari Zone this episode, but it doesn't look like it's gonna happen. Um definitely gonna spray repel right here. Or super repel, I'm out of repels. And then I'm gonna surf and see what's around here. And then I'll end off the episode. I don't think there I don't remember there might be an item or two down here somewhere. Oh shit, I forgot. The randomizer's on, so we're gonna find like random level 90s. 136. Which means they can kill our Pokemon, but I'm not gonna count it as legit if they kill anybody because it's just kind of bullshit that there's super powerful Pokemon here. Uh, I'm gonna actually put Cinder up just in case something like that happened. Instead of move up. Wow, fail, fail. Okay. Move Cinder up in case something like that does happen. It would probably be the best to find him. Oh, there's a beach over here. Son of a beach. Level 41? Are you kidding me? No. Water pulse? Can you all tentacle of water pulse? Yeah, if it kills my Pokemon, it definitely does not count. Cause... Hydro Pump? See how much bullshit there is right here? I should just turn the randomizer off. There's a water pump. God damn it. Level 89. Like, come on, this is total bullshit. Yeah, that does not count as an actual death. Should I just turn it off? I'll turn it off after this. No, I don't want to fight it. Wow. Seriously, this is just stupid. Like, I fucking hate this little bug right here. Black me out, aren't you? Okay, there we go. Turning off the freaking randomizer right now. List. Unmark. Can't see the save option. Save. Alright. We should be good with our KO'd Pokemon that don't actually count as KO. There's. Alright, looks like I'm, I'm gonna go heal off screen to Pokemon Center, but next time we'll be back up there where we should be. I don't think there's anything of use down here yet, so I'll see you guys in the next episode. Funny thing, my emulator crashed, so I'm back over here, so those deaths never happened. Bye, guys. Follow me on Twitter for updates on my channel.